we're a, a helicopter company that is just over 10 years old. Um, we've grown rapidly over the last 10 years, um, initially flying single engine turbine helicopters, uh, growing into multi-engine um, with a diverse um, fleet and a diverse area of operations. Uh, we operate in Africa in various shapes and forms in humanitarian, oil and gas, uh, mining support operations. And then um, over the past few years, actually seven years, we've become particularly good in Antarctic operations and Southern o uh, Ocean operations, uh, providing helicopter support for various um, um, Antarctic programs, not just the South African Arctic, Antarctic program, um, various European um, as well as um, Asian uh, Antarctic programs as well. Ultimate Heli was founded over ten and a half years ago. Um, we originally started um, at Grand Central Airport where we were a small operator. We had one single engine turbine, um, originally servicing um, the mining industry in Africa on various contracts. Um, as we were growing, uh, we, we realized that we needed to build our own facility, um, basically to complement the growth of the fleet, as well as a lot of the hangar facilities in Johannesburg were built around um, fixed wing operations and helicopters moved in. Um, and we needed a purpose-built facility, which for, uh, gave us the idea to look, we looked around the world and we started looking at heliports and how to build heliports. And after a very, very long journey, um, we, we, we acquired a piece of land um, in, inside Waterfall, which we then went through all the zonings, the permissions, which there were a number of, and we were able to get to a stage where we were we, we could build our own purpose-built heliport, which we have built. Um, the planning took about four years to, from, from the initial conception through to basically starting construction. Construction took over a year and a half to do, and um, we now operate out of, out of a wonderful, magnificent, world-class facility that we're proud to call our head office. Um, and that is at full capacity at the moment, and we've got some really, really exciting ideas going forward in terms of uh, building and, and um, enlarging the facility. The, the heliport has got two main anchor tenants. It's Ultimate Heli, you know, and that's, which is ourselves, and National Airways Corporation, uh, where we operate 24-7, both companies, offering um, uh, aeromedical out of both um, parts of the heliport, as well as charters, um, there's an in a very, very uh, comprehensive maintenance facility in our hangar where we maintain our own fleet uh, as well as um, third party aircraft as well. Uh, there's obviously jet fuel and have gas available on a 24 hour basis, so helicopters that are in, in emergency services and benefit from the 24 7 availability of, of jets and have gas, as well as VIP uh, facilities. We've obviously operated 24 7 service out of here for aeromedical. So there are probably uh, five aeromedical helicopters that are based here. Uh, the crew are both based on a 24 hour basis. We've got crew restrooms for the, for the medics and pilots, uh, as well as all the necessary facilities that you need to house those um, aeromedical crews. It's important to note that aeromedical crew are on permanent 24-7 standby, so the aircraft are on the flight line, fueled, pre-flight checks are already done, the pilots and the aeromedical staff are, are permanently based at the heliport, and they service the whole of the Gauteng and provinces around South Africa with uh, hospital transfers as well as accident scenes. Uh, it provides a very, very um, good social service to the whole of the Gauteng area. Um, where, this, where these helicopters can um, operate in and out of this facility that's extremely centrally located. Antarctica for us has been a, a real testing um, opportunity. Over the last seven years we've operated seven consecutive seasons for various Antarctica programs down there. Not just the South African, we operate for some Asian countries as well as European countries down there. Um, the weather conditions are extremely um, um, hostile and we need to plan 
according to the weather. Um, uh, at the moment, we operate two Gal 412s down there um, on the South African program and two um, Airbus AS350s on, on, a, on, on an Asian program. And we're one of the only countries in the world that we can actually boast that we've got a strong helicopter uh, operator that can operate down there. And we operate down there with a very, very um, strong, safe, reliable method. Uh, we do a lot of oceanographic work um, off the back of uh, various icebreakers uh, where weather, uh, water temperatures are tested in and around Antarctica. In conjunction to that, there's a lot of work that we do with scientists on, the mammal, on, on mammals, counting mammal, mammal populations in various parts of Antarctica. Um, it's important to measure uh, the growth and decrease of the, of the, the population of, of seals, whales, penguins down there. Um, and that's done on an annual basis uh, in conjunction with uh, various scientific organisations. Our vision early on was to have our own uh, purpose-built facility where we could grow from. Um, that's been done and, and business has become, it's a lot easier to operate out of your own airport. Um, during lockdown we were very fortunate that we were able to, um, due to the emergency services that we operate, we were able to continue operating. It was only OR Tambo and an Ultimate Heliport that were operating during lockdown. Um, all the other heliports heli and heliports were closed, us being the only heliport. Um, going forward, uh, we're gonna continue growing in and around South Africa. Um, there's a number of opportunities in the region. Um, we don't wanna uh, go too far away from base. We wanna provide a good service in and around uh, Southern Africa. Um, and there's a number of opportunities in mining, oil and gas, um, as well as our Antarctica operation, which we want to carry on growing. Every year it gets bigger and bigger. Um, as the um, climate change is more, um, becomes more real, and people realize that the one place in the world that you can really measure climate change is down in Antarctica on an annual basis. Um, so we, we're very proud to be able to operate down there. and. Um, I often say we, we fly at minus 35 degrees and at, at plus 45 degrees in some of the areas we operate. Um, so we are a, a helicopter operator and a fixed wing operator that is very, very good at operating away from base in hostile con weather conditions. And um, we will continue working on the continent um, and looking at good opportunities of growing from there.